What's up guys, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. I just landed in Singapore, flew in here from Bali. So this was a very random plan. I've actually been to Singapore before, but the flights back to India from Bali were costing the same, uh, even if I went through Singapore. And if you have a valid US visa, you're entitled to get like a four day free transit visa. So that's what I applied for. I did end up facing a bit of problem uh, while getting my visa though, because I don't think a lot of people use this option. Uh, so my US visa was on my old passport, which I am carrying, but the woman at the the immigration counter kept saying that uh, it needed to be on my new passport so I had to argue with her for like 15 minutes and then she was finally like okay fine you can go so I didn't think arguing would really work but luckily for me it did so uh, made it to Singapore now uh, got my luggage and now I'm just gonna figure out how to get to my hostel so I'm basically here for three days. I haven't planned anything. I've just booked my hostel. I'm gonna get there and figure out what I'm gonna do the next three days. So stick around to see what I'm up to. Hi. <laughs> Got myself a taxi, heading to my hostel now. Uh, so at the airport, I picked up a SIM card. Uh, I'm only here for three days, but the SIM card is valid for 12 days. That's the minimum they had. And it was for 30 Singapore dollars. So I wish they had something cheaper for like a week or something. Uh, but I ended up picking this up. I think I could have gotten something cheaper in the city, but uh, this was just convenient. So I picked it up. Also, meet Alicia. Hi, Alicia. <laughs> She's driving me around. So my hostel is in Boat Key, which is apparently far from here. So it's going to be a long drive. So I forgot to mention before, but I booked my flight to Singapore and my flight back to India on this app called Bigo, which is this travel booking app that allows you to book hotels and flights and finds you the best possible deals. So how this app works is that when you search for something, it shows you uh, different websites that are offering uh, the same thing and it shows you the prices for those as well and then you can choose to book it wherever you find the best deal. Uh, one feature on this app that I really like is that it has this toggle button. So when you click that toggle on button, it shows you the prices inclusive of taxes and all convenience fees, uh, which I find very convenient and it's such a useful feature to have. Uh, so yeah, I've been using this app a lot lately and if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. You can click on that and download the app. hostel seems to be in a lane where cars don't really go so I'm literally dragging my suitcase around the streets trying to find this place finally found my hostel so it's actually a space pod uh, this is the place and I've only booked this place for one day because I wanted to see what a capsule pod is like uh, so this is gonna be interesting okay so just checked in and this is some futuristic shit let me show it to you so this is where I'm staying that last one there is my pod this one and this is what it looks like so I'm gonna do a whole video giving you a tour of this pod so if you want to watch that you can click the link over here to check it out uh, but right now I think I'm just gonna take a nap because I'm kind of tired and shower and then head out bit filmed a tour of the space pod and now I'm heading out uh, it was raining a while back but the weather is nice right now and right opposite where I'm staying is this lake or river I'm not sure what it is and right there you can see Marina Bay Sands so this is actually quite a nice area I'm famished I haven't eaten since 8 a.m. I think and right now it's 4 p.m. Uh, so I'm gonna go get myself some food there are lots of eating joints around uh, here so I'm just gonna try to find like a place that serves decent veg food so it turns out this area is actually quite expensive to eat uh, I don't know if that's all of Singapore but this street seemed really expensive but I was really hungry so I thought I'll just eat here so of course my first meal here is nachos because I'm obsessed with nachos I'm paying a lot for these nachos they're for 800 rupees so uh, they better be good uh, but I also have an amazing view so this is my view so I guess I'm really actually just paying for this view. Uh, the view is pretty nice and the weather is great too. So I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my nachos. We need nachos. 
nachos are actually pretty good. Done with my meal. Were those nachos worth what I paid for? I don't think so. Uh, but the view was really nice. But you can also get that view for free. So basically, I think I need to find cheaper places to eat at uh, from now onwards. But yeah, I'm just sitting around the river. So I googled it. This is actually Singapore River, and I feel like I should know that because I've been here before, but I didn't know that. Uh, so this is the river, and I'm just sitting on the stairs by the river and enjoying the view. I've just spent the entire evening aimlessly walking around the river and it's just so pretty and the lights look so nice so I'm really enjoying this view. I wanted to do a bunch of things today but I think I'm enjoying this more so I'm just going to walk around some more. Not sure where I'm walking towards but if I find something nice I'll stop by. So I was just walking around and met up with Nyo Nyo who mm. took really nice photos of me. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just walking towards Marina Bay Sands together now. So we've just been walking. I think we're right uh, in downtown. So there's the flyer. There's Marina Bay Sands and there's the Merlion. So I'm just sitting here in front of the Merlion and people watching. The Merlion is actually one of the few things I remember from my last trip to Singapore. I think last time uh, I went for the night safari, I went to Sentosa, Chinatown, Little India and the usual stuff. So this time I don't really want to do those things. I think tomorrow I'm going to go to Gardens by the Bay and maybe to Chinatown as well. And I don't know, I don't really have a plan. We'll just see what I end up doing. Such a cool view of Marina Bay Sands from here and the laser show I think just started so I'm gonna stand here and watch that. I kind of got lost on the way back actually and my phone died so I didn't have maps so it took me a while to get back but I'm here now I'm really tired after today so I'm gonna call it a day now and I'll see you guys tomorrow so I'm off to a bit of a late start today I actually woke up on time but uh, I had some work to get done I was replying to emails and stuff so anyway heading out now so I'm actually moving to a different hostel today I'd made my bookings in advance uh, the space spot is actually quite nice. I wouldn't have minded staying there all three days as well, but my booking was already made. Uh, so the hostel only lets me check in at 3 p.m. So I've left my stuff at the space pod and I'm gonna go out now, explore a bit and then come back and check into my hostel. I'm heading to is Haji Lane which is in this area called Arab Street. A lot of you guys recommended it to me and apparently there are lots of cute cafes and it's a very artsy area so I thought I'll go check it out. So it's about 27 minute walk from my hostel and I think uh, a metro ride would have been more convenient but I really enjoy walking and I try to walk as much as possible so I get some physical activity as well so I'm just walking to that place now. Was just walking around and came across this really cute looking street. Uh, this is why I like walking because you'll miss all of this when you take the metro. But also it's a really humid day so it's very hot so I kind of also wish I did take the metro. On the way to Haji Lane I came across this really cool looking building so I was checking what it is and turns out it's a museum and it's got free entry. It's called the Parkview Museum. I think I'm going to stop here and check this out first. Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it, you can do
dance with me Move your feet and feel it in the space between the art gallery was actually quite nice. I'm not the biggest fan of art, but I do enjoy it in small doses. Uh, so I'm glad I checked this out. Heading to Haji Lane now. Made it to Haji Lane, and oh my god, it looks so insanely cute. So right now I'm at this place called Selfie Coffee where basically they take a selfie of you and print it on the coffee. Initially when I saw this I thought uh, it's printed on like a sheet and you're gonna have to punch into that and drink your coffee but this is actually printed uh, onto the whipped cream which is really cool so uh, I'm actually gonna be drinking this. I don't feel like drinking this because it looks so good uh, but I got the caramel flavoured coffee and this was for $9. And don't you I've reached the part where I'm actually having my face, which is actually the best part of the coffee. We Haji Lane is seriously the most indie place I've ever been to. Lots of cute cafes here, really nice stores. I think I'm gonna go and uh, check out a few stores, although I have a feeling they're gonna be very expensive. Don't you start the music, get into it, won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me? Move your feet and feel it in the space between. This place is honestly so nice for shopping. They've got some amazing things, but it's a bit on the pricier side, so I'm not really buying anything. Also, I don't really have space in my suitcase, unfortunately, but I'm really enjoying window shopping. It's almost painful not having to buy anything. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I actually ended up buying one of those Harry Potter music boxes, but I think I'm gonna gift it to my brother. This lane was totally worth visiting. In fact, I think if someone asks me what my favorite lane in the world is, this might be one of them. Uh, it was really nice, very cute stuff, really picturesque. Anyway, it's almost 4 p.m. now, so I can actually check into my next hostel, so I'm gonna go do that now. Also, Singapore's actually been surprisingly very easy to vlog in. No one really cares. No one's looking at you weirdly when you're vlogging. So I've really been enjoying vlogging here. Just checked into my room here in the hostel and I'm really regretting moving. The room is actually nice. This is my room. Uh, it's a single person dorm, so it's quite decent. But I had to climb like a thousand flights of stairs and get my giant suitcase. So it's not like I'm traveling light. So this move didn't really make sense at all. So I'm really sweating and the room's card isn't working so I'm not able to go out because I can't lock the room. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of a nightmare. Also the whole check-in process was quite complicated in the sense that there were no people around so there was a self-check-in kiosk so you had to do everything yourself. Pretty straightforward but it was just a little time consuming and I wish I had someone to help me with my luggage but this is a hostel. Uh, there were lots of steps up and down so that was annoying. I literally think it took me like half an hour to just bring my suitcase from downstairs to upstairs. So hopefully my room card key will get sorted and then I'm gonna head out to gardens by the way. So I'm out and about heading to gardens by the bay. I'm running like an hour late though because of the whole card fiasco. I couldn't lock my room and I really wanted to get there by 5.30 so I could see it uh, during the day uh, and in the night with the lights on. But yeah, hopefully I'll still make it in time to catch it during the daylight. It's like a 15 minute walk from my hostel so I'm just uh, quickly gonna head there. Finally made it 
to Gardens by the Bay and the entry to this place is actually free but there are a couple of things here which uh, you have to pay for. So the cloud forest and the flower dome which apparently are really worth checking out uh, you have to buy a ticket for that. So if you buy it here I think it's for $29 but I bought it on this app called Cloak and got it for $23 so yeah I got a cool discount. Uh, so I'm gonna go check those two domes first now. and these waterfalls you see behind me are the highest indoor waterfalls in the world they're 35 meters high and I think you can go all the way to the top as well so that's where I'm gonna go now called cloud walk and you just basically walk uh, around this dome and this place is just so insane I don't even have words to describe it I kind of wish I'd come earlier during the day because I think that would have been nicer but uh, even right now it's just so incredible vlog it would have been better if I'd come during the day uh, but in reality the lights look really impressive and I'm kind of glad I'm here during the night. After cloud forest the next place I'm headed to is the flower dome. quite nice saw so many different types of flowers that I'd actually never seen before uh, but I think the cloud forest was definitely the highlight of gardens by the bay right now I'm going to watch this light and sound show called uh, the garden Rhapsody the airport on my way back to India getting a free massage and sipping on some iced Milo uh, so I was just thinking about this trip and I realized this is actually my first ever proper solo trip abroad uh, and it's been such a nice experience I honestly was a little bit skeptical about uh, solo travel and I didn't really know if I'll enjoy it but I actually had such a good time and there are so many benefits of solo traveling firstly you get to meet so many cool people I don't think that would have been possible if you're traveling with someone uh, so I made a lot of friends here which was amazing. Second, it's a bit intimidating but uh, once you're done with it you feel so much more confident and I think it's totally worth it for that. And over this trip I realized how much I actually enjoy my own company. Uh, so yeah, it's been really nice and also you get to do whatever you want. You don't really have to rely on someone else to make plans. Whatever you feel like doing you can do that. So solo travel has been awesome. I definitely see myself uh, doing more of it in the future. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's gonna be another vlog from Singapore from the day I spent at Universal Studios. So keep an eye out for that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, press the bell button to get notified when my new videos go up. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye! In the space between, you gotta give yourself a moment, let your body be.